Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this sort of little chit chatty get ready with me video. I um, don't think I've sat and really spoke about myself in front of the camera since I think my 30 facts about me video, which was a long time ago. So I'll do a little get ready with me while I'm going out for some drinks with some friends later on. So here we go. So I have recently just got back from Berlin with Dan. We went for four days and it was good, but it was a bit of a disastrous trip. Just everything that could go wrong, did go wrong. Firstly, we were delayed going, which it happens. But then as we got to the airport, Dan ripped his pants, so I had to get changed. Then we got lost looking for our, ho our hotel after we got off the plane because the train system just completely, completely confused us. Then Dan's phone didn't work, his 3G never worked. Then what happened? Oh, then on the first day we were there, like, but like the next day, the first full day we were there, I sprained my ankle and then couldn't walk. So I had to walk around with this ugly ankle brace on, ankle support that I had to buy from some random shop. There was other stuff. It was just a whole, a whole thing. Oh yeah, we survived. Tried to do a little vlog while I was there that I'll link that up here and below for you to go and have a little look at, see what you think. But I think it's safe to say I am completely put off city breaks for a while now. We go away again in December, uh, at the end of November this year we go. We're going to Egypt for two weeks, which is going to be magnificent in the middle of British winter. I've never been away in the winter, so it's going to be a bit strange. I might try and do a vlog for that. I can't, so I think we're going to be doing much. Like obviously we're going to do a few excursions and touristy things, but I think the majority of it is going to be laying on a beach. So I might do a vlog for that one as well. Let me know in the comments if you want to see an Egypt vlog. I've got plenty of time between now and then to up my game and work on me filmmaking skills. I remembered what else happened. Coming home from Berlin, we go to the airport. I mean, this is, can I just add this, the first time I've ever, ever gone, I've, it's the first time I've ever travelled using just hand luggage only, so I was a bit of a noob to it. Going through security, first of all, I got stopped because I had a bun in with hairpins and that set off the body scanner, which I never knew could happen. So I got searched, well, my hair got searched. I was waiting for my bag to come through the scanner thing and it got stopped and the fella was like, um, can I see your liquids? And I was like, I haven't got any liquids, I don't know what you're on about. So he was like, there's a bottle of perfume in there and I was like, oh! Like, i mortified in the middle of Berlin Airport that I forgot I bought perfume on the way there and just put it in my case. I forgot to take it out into my little liquids bag, so I was mortified. And then on top of that, as a souvenir, I bought my Buddha, like a little zipper lighter, just with Berlin on one of them little them ones you find in all the souvenir shops. And I had that in like my little handbag, I had like a crossbody bag, but with EasyJet at the moment, you're not allowed to take like a hand luggage case and a bag. So I threw my bag just in, in Dan's hand luggage. That come through and the guy was asking if there's a lighter in his bag and Dan was going, no, no, there's no lighter in my bag. I don't know what you're on about. And then I was like, yeah, there is. I put it in there. And then the fellow was like, oh, you don't know what you've packed. And I swear my heart dropped. I thought, that's it now. We're done for. We're getting searched. Everything's going to happen. But he was fine. He was laughing and joking about it, which I was like, Phew. I was like, please just get me home now. I've had enough. When I say I've had enough, I meant I had enough of everything going wrong. Fully, fully over city break holidays for a little while. I'm gonna stick to beaches from now on. I say beaches, I don't really like the beach when I'm away. I tend to prefer the pool more than sitting on the beach, I don't know why. I like getting sand in my feet and my toes and root. Apart from that, nothing really much has happened with me lately. I suppose I'm doing a chit chat, get ready with me and I've got not much to chit chat about. So I have made a bit of a pledge to myself since I've come back, well, before I went away really. I've been feeling so inspired lately by some of the pictures I've been seeing on Instagram and everything like that. I am working my little behinds off now just to make sure I get where I want to get and just keep working and doing it so I haven't got a just so I can I wish I could do it full time but unfortunately at the moment I can't so if I keep going hopefully I'll be able to so I'm going to try and film more videos for my channel so I have my days off I'm going to try and film a couple videos a day just so 
I've got a few days to go up through the week. I'm going to try and get. I don't want to say a schedule because obviously things happen. I'm not going to commit myself to an upload schedule because I mean, I know what I'm like. I'll do it once and then I'm going to. I want to do try and get more videos up than I have been more frequently. Just don't know how frequently yet. If this goes down well, I might consider doing some little get ready with me's a bit more often. Even if I'm not going anywhere because I don't tend to go anywhere very often. <laughs> Getting into that whole Halloween era now. I haven't actually done anything yet to do with Halloween but I'm planning a few things. Hopefully if all goes to plan I'll be able to have a nice little, maybe a little bit, a couple videos on my channel. That's the plan anyway, not just a one-off. I want to do like a couple so it's like a little mini series on my channel of um, some Halloween looks, but I don't know how well they'll go. I've also been thinking recently about doing a little photography course, maybe you know just like the basics of photography, just so I can get better pictures. Like I always get pure stress trying to get a good picture of my makeup because I mean I hate my face anyway. I can't pose. I've got this big stupid neck seven chins over here so i have to try and cover them when i pose but i just want to understand photography more and when i'm filming what i'm looking for and everything like that so my makeup today i'm taking inspiration from alice in wonderland off instagram if you don't follow her you should she's amazing so it's going to be a sort of semi or matte eye i want to understand more about my camera i'm looking at hopefully anyway because the ones i've looked at so far they all run of an evening which i can't do because i work of an evening Evening, and that's what time they mostly run like six till eight o'clock i can find a daytime one then perfect so if anyone knows of any in and around liverpool let me know using my rose Huda beauty rose gold texture palette for the first time in a long time i'm prepping myself for the new one the sahara desert desert dusk is it desert dusk i don't know why i said sahara and i've got that stuff in front of me yeah i'm prepping myself for the, the desert dusk palette desert rose what's it desert dusk desert dusk palette to launch i think that launches in the uk in the next couple of days so i've been eagerly anticipating that even with all the reviews and everything going on can't wait to get my hands on it some of the colors just look amazing is it twilight the one that's like the duochrome purpley one that has got my name written all over it i'm using a mixture of cocoa and henna just to lightly deepen that up a little bit so as well i thought i'd do this video because i want to try and do some newer things like like tip with the vlog I want to try new things with my channel, just try and get a bit more creative, see how it goes, T test some new things so it's not just boring old me putting on the same makeup all the time. I'm determined to learn all I can about this as well, so like filmmaking, doing videos and editing videos, I'm always trying to teach myself how to do everything. So I'm actually going to add a bit of colour to the centre of the lid. I'm going to go back with the Peaches and Cream Mermaids pigment. Now if you watched my last video, the Mermaids Glam video, I used this pigment, but I used it, I put it down with MAC Fix Plus, which I mean, to be perfectly honest, it didn't stick very well. I said that in the video. It is a gorgeous colour, so I'm going to give it a go today with some glitter glue and see if it sticks a bit better then. So I'm going to take a touch of my NYX glitter glue this time. Just see if that helps it, because this pigment is amazing. I don't think you can see. It's got like a gorgeous, it looks white in the pot, but when you move it, it's got a gorgeous bluey, purpley tone to it. Oh yeah, that's much better. I'm a lot more confident in front of the camera now than I used to be. I used to be terrified of speaking. I've discovered recently, well I've always known it, but it's become more apparent how shaky my hands are. And I found out from trying to edit my vlog footage and the camera's just like... <sighs> Did anyone see that Sephora Insta story the other day when they were drawing a wing and it was just the most horrendous wing I've ever seen in my life. If you've not seen it, I'm sure there's a meme on Twitter somewhere of it. It's funny, I used to wear winged eyeliner pretty much every single day. And now I just barely do it. Because I'm scared of it more than anything, it can sense me fear. I feel like my life's not interesting enough for a chit chat, get ready with me. Just while I'm waiting for my lashes to dry as well, I'm just going to try. Oh, one's arrived. See, I'm still acting like it's a tutorial. Come on, Ash. So you should do. I think that was my first YouTube swear word. Usually, I am quite the potty mouth. For some reason, on here, 
I know do it, I feel like I'm being naughty if I do. It's a milestone for me anyway, never mind subscriber count and view counts. How many swear words? Your first swear word is a big milestone. I forgot to mention the random brown spot. I've got in my hair, just, just been spurring on it for the last however long. But yeah, I put fake tan on before I went away and it just, I don't know what happened there. I'm not the best with fake tan, I'm such a rubbish girl. I really am. It's all, I had to scrub my hands before because I knew I was filming and it, it was just, it was disgusting. If you could have seen my feet the other day, no, I'm such a bad, terrible at being a girl. I think I always have. Oh no, they're not too bad this time, dodgy elbows. Girly stuff isn't my forte, except makeup, dyeing hair and doing tan and yeah, I'm just no good at. Can't believe I forgot to mention I got my nails did as well before I went away. Gorgeous, can't even see them, but yeah, they're pretty. I haven't had my nails done for a very long time and I've missed them so much, so I'm being a bit of a spaz trying to put my lashes on with them. I've loved having my nails back, all I keep doing is like making noises. Everyone hates me, but it's okay. To be perfectly honest, there's been a few times I've, um, when I've filmed, I've actually been chatting away, but then my videos ended up about six hours long, so I've just cut it all out and just focused on the makeup, so I'm enjoying this. I'm using, as well, the Amy Helm lashes, as always, my faves. These ones are, I think, the 3D08. These ones, they are just so fluffy amazing as always she will be linked down below in the description box her instagram go and get yourself some gorgeous lashes so now it's time for my face i've got a new um little skincare regime at the moment i've already put it all on a while ago but i've got i'm trying to step up my skincare game a little bit because i now diddly squat about skincare which is quite embarrassing really when people say well what's the best for this and, and i'm just like your guess is as good as mine love i haven't got a clue about skincare yeah but i got some products i got some products from the ordinary which is amazing i got the azelic acid solution and the natural moisturizing factors and I actually got a dermaplane a few weeks back. The amazing Amy Helen. If you don't follow, go follow. <laughs> go follow. Bless me. And I've been using me the ordinary products along with my Kiehl's Daily Revive and Concentrate. And I must say, my skin has never felt better. So I bought a new foundation as well recently, which is no shocker because that's all I do is buy makeup. So I got the Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation and it's the best foundation I've ever used. Usually I'm a bit hit and miss with foundations, like the colours and the cuff because I love a full coverage because I've got, I don't know if you can see, but I have a lot of freckles. I think they're a bit blurred in this life. A lot of dark toned freckles, sort of like greeny, a sort of greeny toned freckle and I hate them. I know everyone says they're cute and I love to cover them and this baby is the bomb. Skin is my new obsession at the moment. I just want to be able to get a perfect skin. How? I can be a bit of a klutz. I was in the salon a few weeks ago and if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw it. I accidentally sat Jaclyn Hill palettes. It was on a chair behind me and I just sat down. Sat there for a few minutes and then I put my hand behind me and was like, what's that? Well, I've never jumped up so hard, so fast in my life. I'll see if I can get a little screen grab of it and put it here to show you because it was just hilarious. The eyeshadows have like imprinted onto my backside. Didn't even break one of them. I'm excited to go out. I haven't really gone out for a drink for a while. I was looking forward to all summer because I love in the summer going out for a cocktail, you know, like a little outdoor bar. Didn't even see summer this year. I've been looking forward to September. Finally a bit of sun and what does it do? It rains. There's hurricanes all over the world. Windy, everything. Even in Germany, the weather was atrocious. Glorious sunshine one second and the next it would absolutely bounce down. Like it would rain so hard. Ten seconds later it's sunny again. Stays on my hands. I'm just constantly covered in everything. I think I went in too quick with all my, my topics of conversation. I think I'm gonna plan a either I do the boyfriend's makeup or he does my makeup video soon. On me, Mermaid's video, a couple of videos back, I sort of mentioned because he was in the room while I was filming and I mentioned he was hiding away 
and I had a few people saying to me, well, why don't you do a tutorial with him, get him out of hiding. He's been dying to do it for ages. It's another palette I've had for a while and not really reached for. I've got the Anastasia Moonchild highlighting palette and I don't know why I've never reached for it much, but I love the colours. I have no clue what I'm wearing tonight. I've got no clothes whatsoever. I'm going to gather the pub so I could just go in my jeans, but and then obviously... lock it all down. I'm gonna go and do something with my wig thing and I'll be back in a minute. Oh I've dyed my hair actually I don't know if I've had it on camera. It was pretty purple on top but it's all purple on the bottom. I'm gonna go and do sort this mess out and I'll be right back. So I did want to be like well I'll just pop off and get dressed and I'll be right back but like I said I've zero clue what I'm wearing so this is it for now. So this is the finished look, boring here, but I love the way my makeup's turned out today. So this was fun, it was a nice new little challenge for me. So I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. Hopefully there'll be more of these again soon, if I ever go anywhere. But yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you like this type of video or like the vlogs or things like that or any suggestions of videos you'd like to see, products you want me to use things like that let me know and I'll um, do my best to give them a go I just want to try new things why can't I stop fidgeting I just want to try new things and put myself out there a bit more so yeah just leave me a comment below letting me know if you want to see more from me as well don't forget to hit the bell whichever side it's on to to make sure you don't miss an upload whenever I upload but yeah that's the finished look so I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon